I wanted to share with you something that I've tried this year, and so far, I'm really impressed with it. I wanted to start uh, uh, showing you how these new seeds have responded to starting uh, and planting your seeds with vermiculite on top rather than soil. You can see here, if you, you know, take a look at you know, what's going on here in the grow room, you can see that I started all of the plants on the right side, which is the lettuce and the basil, with vermiculite on top. There's a tray there with flowers, and then on the far end, um, there's a tray with more vegetables, and I've started that with vermiculite, and then the end with the cups is all tomatoes, and also started with vermiculite. So let's take a look at it. I've already thinned out all the lettuce and the basil, and you can see here that the, you know, the vermiculite, it's not getting moldy, it's staying uh, moist, it's absorbed some of the brown color of the dirt, or, you know, basically the, the peat pellet that was underneath, and these plants are just growing with, you know, leaps and bounds, and initially I was going to put this lettuce in the aquaponics tower. Um, but I don't have it done. This lettuce needs to be going in there shortly. The aquaponics tower is not finished. So I started some more lettuce. And I started some lettuce over here um, in these, uh, you know, the, the egg carton um, with vermiculite on top. And I'm going to give it a shot and see how well it works. Um, again, I'm really impressed with the progress so far. For example, these are yard-long beans from Blake Kirby, and I got that through the Seed Saver Exchange, uh, or not the Seed Saver Exchange, the Seed Savers community that I started on Google+. Um, and these are giant sunflower seeds from Miss Pero. This tray that has the beans and the sunflowers in it, and there's a variety of other things as well, some turnips and other lettuce, uh, some iceberg lettuce here. You know, you name it. But the point is, is these seeds have all germinated extremely well, and it's been four days since I planted them, and you can already see the progress that's that's happening. It's just amazing, and you, you don't have any problems with uh, mold on the top of this, you know, growing on the top here. Now I planted tomatoes in here, and I just planted these yesterday. I expect them to probably sprout within the next two to three days. Um, but I'm I'm playing around with and experimenting with, you know, trying to get by with less and less vermiculite. So you can see here, I planted a single, no, I planted two seeds in here, and I just lightly covered them up with the vermiculite in the potting soil. And I have my potting soil down here, which is a mixture of uh, composted manure, um, uh, it's a, a mixture of an organic potting soil, it has some vermiculite in it, there's some, a, a very slight amount of organic fertilizer with some, some active bacteria, and I also, basically rock dust and some other things, and then I also am using some uh, cocoa peat. And, uh, you know, i got to say, so far, I'm thinking that I might continue to start all my seeds with this vermiculite method because it just works. Um, so, if, you know, if you'd like me to, I'll go make a video, comment below, and I'll make a video uh, recording the process. But so far, this is everything that I have planted in the grow room, and I'm going to have to take this lettuce out and separate it and plant it outside and probably plant it in pots. My goal this year is to plant in pots as much as, much as possible. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know or suggestions on how to use um, vermiculite a little bit more effectively. Uh, give us a thumbs up and thank you for watching. God bless you all.